Have you ever taken or found the perfect picture that you can use for your YouTube thumbnails or social media graphics? But the problem is, it's just too kind of cropped in. It's, it's not got any usable space at the left or right hand side, so you don't really have anything you can do with that image. Well, the good news is, Canva have released this AI feature called Magic Expand, and it'll take that image and it will grow it on the left, right, top, bottom to give you that extra space and to make that image then usable for all of your graphical needs. And I'm gonna show you how now. So we've just dived into Canva. Now I'm gonna use the templates on the front just to create a video because I think it'd be good for the dimensions. So we'll just create a blank video template for now. So we've got that horizontal uh, landscape kind of format. And let's add an image. So I'm just gonna to go to photos and find one that's already been done. Now I'm gonna show you what works well with this and also where some of the limitations are because I don't want to tell you it's the most perfect tool ever and it's absolutely infallible because there are issues as well. So I'm just gonna click on this search part and I'm gonna find uh, maybe a landscape image that we can use because I think landscapes actually work really well. So let's find this beach scene and let's choose Let's try this one. Now, what we do is when we've got the image open and selected, you have to click on it so it's highlighted. If you click on edit photo, this is the feature that we want, this magic expand. Now, this is a premium feature, so you will need to have a paid version of Canva. You can pay for it month by month if you wish, um, or you can pay for it annually and take a discount on it. But if we click on magic expand, it gives us various options. Now we've got free form here, which basically just means if you hover over like the corners of the image, you can just drag it to cover the area that you want to expand it to. So if I, if I dragged that to there, that means this kind of gray sliver here is where it would expand it. Now one caveat, if you want to expand an image, top, bottom, left, right, the more expansion you're gonna do and the bigger the expansion you're gonna do, probably the less quality results you will get because you're asking it to do so much. So personally, I just try and kind of keep it to maybe like a set, a set amount really. Let's just drag that to the side. The other options you've got here is you can click on whole page and it'll highlight the whole page. Um, you can click on one to one and you've got different formats here. So that's if you want to set it to a certain format. Um, like I say, most of the time, I just use it on free form. Tell you what, let's try that. Let's just try and expand the whole page. So once we've selected the area that we want to expand it by, we just click on Magic Expand. It'll take a few moments, and what it'll do is it'll go away, it'll generate four results, and then you can choose the best result. So as you can see, that's now finished. Now, what you can do is you can cycle through these four results or you can click on generate new results and it'll try again. Now, I don't like this one because I don't like how the beach has just dropped down at the back there. That one for me looks much better. I like the fact that it's added in more trees and you've got various options. I don't particularly like that one either. Uh, that one's not bad. So, so there's at least two of them there where I wouldn't generate any new results. And what it's done is it's took a sample of what the image looked like and it's basically just imagined what should be next to it. Should it be grass, more trees, more blue ocean? And it just kind of uh, makes it up, if you like. So it's very clever how it works. What I'll do is I'll just, let's just overlay the original. So I don't know how clear that is. Let me just shrink it down a bit. And I'll put it in the sky here. So that was the original. As you can see, it went up to this kind of tree line here. So it's automatically generated that. It's added some on the bottom here. It's added this little detail in the uh, in the sand. And at the top, if we have a look, it's it kind of cut off here. So it's added more cloud detail and then it's just dragged the ocean out to the right. Is it absolutely 1 million percent perfect? Probably not, no. But actually, I think it's done a great job of making that image much bigger. So we can try this on a few other good examples. So let's whiz through this pretty quick. Let's try some mountains, because I do think you get the best results with scenes, if you like. So let's try this one. So we'll drag this over. We're going to click on Edit Photo, Magic Expand. And I'm just going to drag this freeform. I'm just going to drag it sideways. And then click on Magic Expand. And hopefully what that will do is extend the tree range, the mountain range, and we'll just have a much wider image that we can use. So there you go, We're looking at them four results, they're all very similar, but I think it's given us some great results there that we can repurpose there. You wouldn't even know, would you? If that was the original photo, there's maybe a little bit of shading difference, but you wouldn't even really know if there was a problem there. 
Okay, so let me show you how it copes with people because that's slightly trickier, but let's see what actually happens. So again, I'm just gonna go to photos and let's find a lady with an umbrella. Let's try this one. So quite a detailed image here because we've got the raindrops um, or whatever it is that's bouncing off that umbrella. Um, quite a lot of detail, so let's just see how we get on. So edit photo, magic expand, you know the drill by now. And we'll drag that across and magic expand and we'll see how that copes. So the results are all very similar, but I think he's done a great job there of actually filling that detail in, even getting the raindrops as well. So I'm going to go with that one. And what we now have is we now have an image that we can zoom in, crop, we can work with a little bit. But also, let's say we wanted to put a, a title on here. So it's now much kind of better laid out that we can use that space. Um, let's change that to white. So this is just as an example. But we've now got room that we can actually use that space and use the image in full. Whereas before, that would pretty much be over a head and it would look absolutely terrible. So it just gives us far more options with our graphics. So a really, really good tool, I think. There are a few limitations, which I will quickly show you. So if we just find a photo of, um, of another person, let's use, uh, let's use this lady. Now, if we expand that, like I said before, the more expansion you do, the more limited the results might be. We're asking it here to make some decisions based on people as well. Now, if you've ever played around with any AI image tools, you can, um, you're can you probably aware that sometimes AI will kind of give people like 27 fingers or like in this case, what it's done is it's trying to expand an image that has a person on. So it's duplicating the results by adding another person, which just looks absolutely ridiculous. So sometimes it, when the person is kind of the forefront and bulk of the image, sometimes it can throw it a little bit and it doesn't know quite what to do. But if we look at the results that have come back, with it's, there you go, we've got all the results back. So we've got one with just a random odd looking person that's a mess. We've got this one that um, is put on this like gray border, which I don't particularly like, and it looks like it's done that on all of them. But what we could do is we could use that one We've got the image expanded now, so we could press done and then we could just enlarge that image and maybe just drag it out. So what it has give us is this kind of side space that we can actually then use to um, just to add some text in or add what we need to. Is it perfect? No, not really. But like I say, I think this tool will get better. I think it's in its infancy. And as you've seen with certain images and certain scenes, for example, it works really well. And it just gives you a little bit of kind of versatility with images that you're using. And hopefully it will get better and better and better because some of these Canva features are brilliant. Another Canva feature that you're going to want to know how to use is the one in the video above. So click on that, take a look, and I promise you it will improve your graphic design for your content creation.